Emmanuel, God is with us. Emmanuel, God is with us. I let this one get a little bit too far, so instead of being a bitter melon, it is a sweet melon. But I'm going to just take it now. Oh my goodness. Behave. Behave. Come on, girl. Y'all know I got these cheap clips. I could have done better with the scissors. But I guess in this case it worked out because it pulled it off. Okay. I got to get So I was looking through my bush. And another one got away from me. So, I hate to... Oh well. I'll show you guys how to eat these. Yeah. Those are actually a fruit. <laughs> I'll show you what you eat in those. But I'm not going to let any more do me like that. I'm going to look at this plant constantly now. She's not going to get away. Okay. That looks like everybody. So that's what the outside looks like. And this is what a ripe bitter melon looks like. It would normally, if I'd have left it, it would have broke right there. And then the seeds would be there for whatever creatures to come in and get them and eat them. And that's how this plant spreads. Okay. I can see a little tinge of yellow on this one. And I'm not going to take any chances because I really like my bitter melon bitter. I don't like a ripe bitter melon. I'm sorry, you guys. There you can see it. Come on. I got to buy some more nippers one day. Ain't going to be this year. I spent all my money on food, seeds, dirt, growing stuff. And I don't have anything left for this. Oh, you're embarrassing me. Look at the way that is working. Oh, this clipper is not old. It's brand new. It just isn't good. I mean, you're treading on dangerous zone here for these strawberries. I'm sorry. For these um, raspberries. They are nice and ripe now. I don't know if I'll get to harvest them because the birds really have a pension for these raspberries. They'll leave my um, strawberries, but they don't leave my raspberries. I don't understand what it is. That I'm getting this one though. Can you see that? It's a late strawberry. You don't get many this late in the year, but the few you do get. I'm grateful. Oh, and look at that little ladybug over there. Okay, Cute. Guys. So here we go. And if you're wondering what clipper that is, that is the Stanley brand. I bought it at Sears, but Sears sold their tool company. And the new uh, tool company, they just don't have the same quality. I'm picking some collard greens. I had already started picking and I was like, oh, I should have done a video. Just share that with you. Okay. So there we go. I'll show you what I got. You always leave some. You don't want to have your plant go through too much. Here are my collard greens. Now let me go get my turnip greens. So I got some really good turnips here. These are my last two good ones of the year. When they come above ground like that, they're done. So that's it for these guys look at those beautiful turnips and even though I'm sorry about that this one didn't make a turnip it does have greens and it's above ground so it's not gonna get any bigger this there is gonna go. be a fine fine meal yum mm. my leeks and I'm just gonna cut the tops off here and use that in my greens yep Use what you have, guys. Yeah, oh, I didn't get them off. I'll get them off camera. 
Okay, I decided I wanted a few more, so this will be my third cutting on these right here. Yeah, you can see where I've cut it before. This is why I grow leeks, for these nice, tender chives. And here's my leek harvest. Yum! <laughs> I want to make a kale salad, because um, I've been feeling a little weak lately and I want the iron. So, let me go ahead and make myself a bitter melon and kale salad. I saw somebody else's video and they made that salad and it looked so good. Okay, I'll leave that little bit. I took too much. Oh no, I'm gonna take that one. <laughs> you should leave more than that, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I want enough to make a decent salad because the bitter melons are a lot of food. So I need enough kale to balance it off. And um, somebody's discovered my kale, so I'm leaving them a kale plant, whatever little creature it is that's discovered it. And I will take these two. See, that one's being eaten. I'll leave that one. This is my kale here. Well, you guys, this one's getting away from me. I didn't know that the yellow squash could do that. Let's go ahead and try to get this kermit out of here. Come on. What's going on? Come on. I'm not. It's biting. It's it's not wanting to go. I guess it's been here so long. It just feels like this is home. Woo! I know that's ready. That's a meal there. <laughs> I don't even need to. Let me just eat this one. And as I see that one is being eaten, so this one was mine. <laughs> this is today's harvest. And there's my hand. I have really, really long hands. It is three, six, nine, 12 inches long. And it's three inches across at the round part. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. Guys, I just mm. noticed something. This is the biggest one I've ever picked. But let me see if you can see it. It has little burrs coming off of it now. So when they get big, they start protecting the fruit. It's got stickers like the leaves do now. I don't think it's showing up on camera, but it's starting to put out burrs. So I'll have to scrub that off to eat it. Yeah, so not a good idea to let these get this big unless you're growing it for seed, okay? Today, I'm not just gonna snack on all this raspberries in the garden because I've been eating a lot of raspberries in the garden. I'm actually going to put them in a bowl and be all cute about it, you know. It's putting more and more out. Seems like the more I pick, the more it grows. You see, I'm picking them on. There's a green one right next to it and a baby one next to that one. Yeah, I think this golden raspberry plant likes to feel um, needed. You know, I feel like if you don't pick the raspberries off of it, then it'll be like, oh, they don't even appreciate me. But if you pick them, it seems to be able to make more and more and more, you know? And as we know, I'm a small city gardener. I don't have a lot of space, no chill hours. My plant gets burnt by the sun. It's high summer. I rarely give it enough water, but it budded out and it's going to, these buds will produce fruit. So these leaves are dying because they're not fruit producers and it's putting out new buds. It's gonna have like that, 
going all along it for the fall. It's not even, I mean, it's not even waiting until next year. It's not doing it like this where it puts the buds on there and waits. It's like, nah, she needs some food. Times are rough. And, you know, you're right. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let me see if we can find some more. Oh, yeah. There it is. Golden. You know? When I get some more money, I'm going to put it on some water for you. Because you are a fruit bear raspberry in a tropical zone. I mean, who you knows? There's a raspberry. Actually, a couple of them. But this raspberry produces the most for me of all my raspberries. It doesn't taste fully raspberry-like. You know, it's not a strong raspberry flavor. Probably not the best choice if you want a pie. But if you just want some food from a raspberry plant, see this one's budding out too. These are gonna be fruit bearing. All of those canes are fruit bearing. So these canes are dying. These are not fruit bearing canes. You know, we might offer you a little respite from the weariness of the world right now. You know, maybe. I, I could only hope. Jesus loves you, and I love you with all the Jesus in me. Be blessed, beautiful.